Hello everybody, I redid the wiring in my boat and I thought I would share it. So what I've done is pretty simple. I bought a um, cheap jumper cable that's like 10 gauge wire, 12 foot jumper cable. And then I added new terminal ends that go on the battery. These are real nice, um, heavy duty, simple to put on. Goes through 8 foot of PVC pipe to keep the wiring in the boat clean. Um, I can run it right under the... Um, reinforcements for the bench seats along the wall of the, the gunwale of the boat and then it'll um, come out in the back by where the trolling motor is and the fish finder. So if you follow it through we come out and then I have a bunch of um, connections here. These are all butt splice connectors that have been um, like double wrapped with electrical tape. 50 amp fuse that's for the trolling motor and then it goes into a quick connect which I got these um, for about 20 bucks. They're really nice. Um, I spent a little more on the quick connects for the um, trolling motor because I wanted some nice heavy duty ones. And then as you can see, that's the trolling motor and um, the quick connect joint. <clears throat> so you can easily connect, disconnect, whatever you need to do. Um, ahead of the 50 amp fuse, it splits off and that goes into the wire here that runs back for my um, fish finder. And then what we do with that, <clears throat> there's some more butt splice connectors. And then I also have a quick connect for the um, fish finder, which is a nice little rubberized um, connection that you can easily take apart. And then it goes um, into a one amp fuse. And then the um, terminal end for the um, fish finder. And as you can see, these are the um, butt splice connectors. These are for heavy gauge wire. And then what you just do is run the bare wire in there crimp them really good, you wrap it with black electrical tape and it's set. It's um, a really clean way to wire it as opposed to what I was doing and actually I need to wrap some of these a little better yet. I don't have them totally wrapped. Um, the, the way I did the main ones going into the trolling motor, I wrapped everything completely and that's the way I'm going to do this one too um, today and then I'll be ready to put this in the boat and um, have it ready for the season. Anytime I need to um, put the motor in, I just plug it into the thing. Um, I don't have any power switching on this. That's one thing I thought about. But then I figure I can just pull the fuses out if I need to um, defeat the circuit. So I figured I'd just keep it simple, not do any extra soldering or wiring that I didn't have to do. And, you know, make sure it was all nice and waterproof and, you know, good to go. Simple, out of the way, done. 